Hello everybody and welcome to Slime Rancher where I want to show you something very cool. Okay, I've worked out finally how to tell how close I am to unlocking the purple treasure cracker. So I will tell you what the secret is, just in case you guys want to know. If you don't want to know, cover your ears for the next 10 seconds. Right, so the way that you get the purple treasure cracker is by making a hundred things and this is what I thought, but it definitely is making a hundred things in your slime science. And to find out how many you have made, there is an achievement if I can find it. Where is it going? It was here a minute ago. There's so many achievements in this game. No, it's not controlling the chaos. It's not a pool party. It is. Never stop creating. So. To show you, this one here, once you get this achievement, onward to science, fabricate your first slime science gadget, that is where you get the green treasure cracker. Okay, be the builder where you fabricated your 35 slime science gadgets is where you get the blue one. Never stop creating where you get 100 slime science gadgets is where you get the purple one. So you guys, when you're, if you're starting a new game for example, you can look at these to see how close you are to unlocking it and you can see that I am only two away. So we're going to make two more things and then we're going to see if this purple treasure cracker unlocks and then we're going to go and open. Oh I know where there's so many purple treasure pods, so exciting. Also we have enough for our next level of the 7z club so we'll do that on the way as well. So let me make two uh what have we got the stuff for we've got enough for two novice apiaries never stop creating has been unlocked now so i'm just waiting now for the purple treasure cracker to unlock it might be an overnight thing i might need to sleep the night um would help if i could come out of that menu as well okay there we are so let's pop on down to my house my awesome house, which is such pretty colours now. Um, I'm going to pop over there and we're going to see what we can do with the 7Z club. See what the next one is after that. So I think this one we're getting a new drill or something. So we're going to be getting level 23, which is Wonder Wolf. We will be getting the light, sorry, the night light chroma and the pretty loud chroma, which is blue and pink. I quite like blue and pink. That's quite a nice combination. And we get the Titan Drill Blueprint. Aha, so we'll get Slime Trophy 3 next time and the Abyssal Pump Blueprint. Fantastic. Can't purchase that. I'm gonna try. Insufficient coins. No! Okay, so we're done with that. I'm actually gonna sleep till morning as well. And let's see if we get this treasure cracker unlock. Yay! I won't have enough money to buy it now, you watch. It's going to be really expensive. 25,000! Well, we better save up for that quickly. So what have I got that I can sell? And we need this treasure cracker. Um, prices are pretty naff right now because I've been doing tons and tons and tons of selling. Rock slimes are not doing too badly for their base price anyway. Fire what fire plot, sorry. Um gold ones obviously. Honey is pretty bad. Phosphor's bad. Tabby's on the up. So Tabby and Rock. Probably won't get a lot of them. I might be able to scrape together 25,000 though. I've got some rock ones in here. And I think I've got some tabby ones near the science centre as well. forever to extract all these out. You guys, are you, have you not been fed or something? You're looking pretty irate right now. I have to do some feeding. Youch. Hmm. Don't think we're going to be able to sell cubes. It would be really good if we could just directly sell the fruit. That'd be great. I don't think that's going to happen. 
Right, so we're nearly at 10,000 now, so that's nearly halfway there. Um, honey, crystal. Oh, they're completely full up as well. Let's um, take them out so we don't lose any. See, I'm trying to do all, a lot of this stuff off camera, but sometimes you just have to do it while you're on camera. I literally, I literally just fed everyone. So, Got full quartz collectors, which is nice. It's something I can sell. If I have to, I'll sell things like honey and crystal quartz. They're not a very good price at the moment. I'd rather not. Please stop exploding in my face. That would be really nice if you could do that. Um, they've got a little boom quartz and a little honey quartz. Not quite full though. Now I'm looking for any tabby plots because they seem to be selling reasonably well and also if there's any further rock ones, there's another 100. Yes, good. Good, good, good. Oh, another 180 actually. That should be enough. And just pop these away. Nothing worse than needing to do something and having a completely full inventory in this game. I mean, like, what kind of game gives you four spaces in your inventory anyway? Seriously. Aims a bit off there. Okay, right, done. Um, let's have a quick look. So I want to put down my market doofer, my market uh, link. I don't know why I need to call it market link. I just call it a market doofer. That just that's better, isn't it? That's just what you call stuff when you have no memory at all. Okay, so sell these, and we should be able to get the purple treasure cracker. And then I've got to try and remember where all of these purple um, things that I've been seeing forever actually are. I know that there's one in the ruins there's one i know of in the glass desert there's one I, there's loads obviously in the vaults that i know of um there was one vault that doesn't have any fruit on it i'll grow some cubies there maybe uh there's one vault that apparently has a little lever that i need to look for and i apparently walked straight past but that's youtuber blindness for you um da, 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 da. tunnel vision i suppose some people call it no, that's fine. I'll give the mint mangoes to these guys. No, I won't. Uh, yeah, well, actually. They've got to eat something. And I'm certainly not going to be bothering with getting them phase lemons. Let's put it that way. And have some cubes as well. There you go. You'll be happy now. There. Empty inventory, which is great. So, we are at 12 and a half. Did have another 100 of those rock plots, didn't we? So, they're going for about 30 each. That'll be about another 3,000. We've got about 15,000. So we need another 10,000 from somewhere. I might sleep the night and see how the prices change. Unbelievable. We finally, finally got to the point where we got the purple treasure cracker unlocked and we can't afford it. It's just my life, isn't it? That's just my life. So, yeah, there we are at about... 16,000 there. Um, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'm gonna go and sleep the night and then I'm gonna see what the boom plot prices are like in the morning because I have a lot of them. And if they're decent, it might be worth selling them just to just to kickstart things. Oh, look at all these. Nom 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 Lots of yummy noms for my slimes. I'm quite intrigued as to what a mint mango actually tastes like. You know, you know they do strawberry grapes. I've never tried them, but I've heard of them. Strawberry flavoured grapes. I'm a little bit intrigued as to what they would taste like, whether they're a very synthetic strawberry or they actually taste like strawberry strawberries. Mm. Oh, I never checked the price. I got distracted. Typical she lab, getting distracted. They are 43 at the moment. Okay, let's sleep the night and see 
what they're like in the morning. And it's a brand new day for a brand new price. The brand new boom slimes. Yeah, they're going for 42 at the moment. These are static at 50. I've got 100 of those, so that'll be 5,000. Everything else is like on the floor for prices, except for fire ones, but yeah, I, I don't have many of those. Um, fire and puddle, surprise, surprise, surprise. These are going up, but I know that they'll go up further. Oh, it's so frustrating. I know that those are selling well under price as well. Actually, you know what? Warp slimes are selling for 86. See how many of those I've got. Maybe you won't have to sell quite as many of them. Although I'm not getting tons of them now because I've not crossed them with anything decent. We've got 41. Okay, that's not too bad. Some in the tank as well. Gimme, gimme, gimme. There we are. Right, so let's see if there's any in the... Nope. Those are honey. Uh, new light yellow looking plots. No. No, 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 no. Those ones are crystal. Okay. Well, I'll sell these because they're selling for a decent price. Let's see how far we can get with that. So, that was a little better. That's got us to 19,000. Um, I'll sell a hundred mosaics. I know. I should have done this before I got the seven Z club stuff. I forgot that there would be a price for it. Normally you get stuff for free in this life. Isn't that how it works? No? People just give you free stuff? You don't have to pay for anything? Okay, I think this will do it. 23, 24, uh, 25, <laughs> literally like I'll just sell a couple of things. Right, so now I've got to wait lots of time for all the prices to come back up but I don't mind too much because we can go and get this treasure cracker and go on adventures. So that's 12 minutes of the episode done. I think what we'll do is we'll go and hit the we'll go and hit the vaults first because they have the most in them. Where is it? It's this thing, isn't it? I haven't bought anything from you in a long time. Okay, so first things first, I think we'll head this way. I'll give all these ma mangoes to the uh, tangle slime on the way round. We're going to go this way and we're going to go and go to Arch Island and we're going to go to the very first set of purple um, treasure pods that we found. Oh, these guys have a full tank. But I'm not going to... I'll do that off camera. I'll sort them all out off camera because I do now have enough money for all the things I wanted to show you guys. So that's fine. And I'm going to maybe do a big old grind for the last few levels of the 7 Z Club and we'll do one last episode on that. Uh, and maybe do some fun stuff with decorating and getting googly eyes and things like that. But I think after that we might uh, finish up with Slime Rancher because I think at that point I'll have done most of the content. Should be quite interesting. So let's... Uh, Hop over here, shall we? Try not to fall in the water like I usually do. Because I'm really clever. I'm like the least derpy YouTuber you're ever going to see. Okay, so. To run over here, I think. Um, and we have to get up high. I remember it was up high somewhere. Oh, up here, up here maybe. Up some more. Uh, 
I think we have to go past here. We have to go up and up and up and up and up and up. Keep going up. And I know there's like a little drop here, so I'm going to try and jump over it. Okay, unless they fixed it. Is it up there? Something up there. Okay, I've got full power. There's definitely something up the top there. There it is. You could just you can just see it from there. Okay, so we are now in here and we can actually open everything. So I am super happy about this. There's some feral slimes. Now are there any secrets? Ooh, there's a teleporter. I wonder if that goes back to the ranch. It's got the ranch symbol on it, so I don't really want to be going back to the ranch just yet. But after we've gone and opened all these, that might be a, a nice thing to do. Okay, so if we pop down here, there's a ton of things down here, so let's start opening them. Perf pod number one is... A bunch of gold ports. Ow! Get off me. Ow, ow, ow. You horrible feral slime. Get back. Get back. Is there going to be a, a feral slime in every single one of these? Because if there is, I'm going to need to go back and uh, sort them out, get some food for them. Because otherwise it's going to be a nightmare. So I'm going to be quickly using that ranch teleporter. We'll go back to the ranch and we'll get them some food. Okay, let's get these mint mangoes. They're pink slimes, so they'll eat anything. But I don't want them biting me while I'm trying to pick up these gold plots. And I'll pick up all the gold plots I can um, before I sell them. Oh, surprise, surprise, they've gone down in price. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them until I'm ready. So this is why... Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm getting the... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, this is why I'm guessing Horace said there was loads of treasure, because the, the purple things are full of gold plots. Happy with that, that'll do me, because I need loads of money for the 7Z Club, so... Hooray! Right, we've got mint mangoes now, so I can feed the uh, horrible feral slimes. Meanies. Making me go all the way back and come all the way back down here. How annoying is that? And again, I probably should have realised when there was a big feral slime sign that that would be the, the trick to that particular little vault. Each of the vaults has probably got a little trick to it. I mean, the second vault's trick was kind of horrible because it was like, yay, I'm full of gold slimes, but they're all going to fall in the water. And I was like, no, no, all that money, gone. But oh well. Geronimo! Oh, it, that was a genuine Geronimo. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's, let's try again. Sometimes things just don't work out the way you planned. Let's see if that... Right, okay. I was gonna see if we still fell down that bit, but I didn't want to waste the time, so... That's a bit better. Get up here. And let's uh, let's feed those feral slimes. I hope 20 is enough. We have to open a few at least. Okay, so there's one dude that's probably still around. Oh no, apparently not. Right, okay. I'm going to open another one. And if a feral slime comes out, then we'll shoot some food at it. Ooh. I'm going to title this Vault Unboxing. I've decided. No, that is not a tall clickbaity. Ow. 
I've never had these many gold ports before. I'm going to store them and I'm going to wait for that price to be like 500 per. It's funny how the price goes down every time I actually have gold ports to sell. There's no reason I can't just take up a... space in one of my silos and just uh, store them for a bit until the price goes up. I'm not going to have a chance like this again, so... I am liking these vaults, so... No, I would never have had an, these many gold ports in my life before. And two of them, like, I've got 50 of them and two of them, will, I can, I reckon I can get... Two of them would sell for a thousand, so 25,000 already in my inventory if I play it right. Which is going to be a, a big help. I don't want to open more than 10. So I can open another four. So I can open these four down here. I think there were also some up the top as well, if I remember rightly. I might not be remembering rightly. Yeah, there's another six or so down here. Forget what that's about. Oh, right, I see. That opens the, uh, the downstairs level here. So you could look like you've just got six of them, but you've actually got more. Secret lever. Ah, so that's what that did. Okay. I can open, yeah, as I say, another four down here. And then I need to go back to the farm and store them. Imagine having a silo full of gold plots. It's so good. I'll be keeping my eyes on that price. I've seen it go as high as 500, so I'm not settling for anything less. One, two... I'm really glad it put a, a teleporter back to the farm in the uh, next room, though. That's kind of handy. So I can bring home my ill-gotten gains. I actually couldn't, like, spit these out any more slowly, though. Look at this, a hundred gold plots! I've never had a hundred gold plots in my life before! That's about 50,000's worth. Gold plots just stuck down here. Horus must have been way better at, uh catching gold slimes than me. So we need to go back and store these in the silo. As I say, at the moment they're only going for about 300 and I'm not happy with that price so they can just get lost. That price had better go up. I will be waiting. I'll probably sell these when I'm grinding so you guys probably won't see me sell these but trust me it's going to make it so much easier for the 7 Club. Look at this, a whole silo's worth of gold plots. No, not silo's worth, a whole silo slot's worth of gold plots. Yay, exciting. This is just the first vault. I'll try and remember where all the other purple treasure vaults are. Uh, tr purple treasure pods are. And there's two in the ruins I know about. We'll open this vault. We'll finish this vault off, and we'll do a vault per episode, I think. And I'll go and find a couple of the other ones as well. Where am I going? This is not where I'm meant to go. I'm meant to be going back to Arch Island. See what's in the rest of them. The rest of them might not be gold plots, they might be something else. You never know. I better not try jumping, I've got no stamina right now. This is what I normally do, I use all my stamina in sprinting, and then I try and jump, and I have none left at all. And I die in the water. 
Imagine if I died in the water with all those gold plots. Oh, I'm so glad there's a teleporter. I'm so triply glad there's a teleporter back. If I died with all of those, that'd be so bad. Okay, let's uh, go again. Oh, this is so cool. I am gonna be so rich. This is maybe another, almost another 7Z club's worth of levels. It'll save me so much work. Stop it! Stop it! Where are you? Stop it. Thank you. Okay, and ready, steady, teddy, go! Jump up there, try not to fall off the edge, because the edge falling off sucks. Were there any purple treasure pods in the one in the glass desert? I can't remember. There may well have been, so I need to check check that one too. Just in case there were. I genuinely can't it was so long ago I did it that I genuinely genuinely can't remember what was in there. Okay, so what's in here then? Is it more gold? That's another 60. So 160 gold plots just in here. Crazy. Crazy good. Is there were one, two. I thought there were six in here. Maybe there's only four. Still good, whatever. Maybe should go around opening them all and then let them all pop out at once, but I kind of don't want to do that just in case something goes wrong and I lose them somehow. For the sake of a little bit of patience. Maybe I could open that one at the same time. Thirty. Forty. I'll say I thought there was six in here, not four. Try pushing that again. I could have just been miscounting though. Just in case something else appears when that's closed, but I don't think it does. No. Okay, I think that's all that there is in here. If any of you know different, as usual, just let me know in the comments. And I shall read them and uh, know. Right, so... Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that. I should be going in the teleporter. Oh, of course, the teleporter's not there because of the... Duh. It's like a celebration in here. So full of joy and happiness and feral slimes that want to eat my face. Let's get out of here. Phew. Okay, let's uh, let's get these safe. Let's get these babies safe. And then I'm going to try and find... I'm going to go to the ruins and I'm going to find a couple of the ones I remember, that I remember from over there. Because I know that there's like gold in these ones, so let's find some ones that actually have blueprints and stuff like that in them. Okay, so let's go to the ancient ruins. We haven't been there in ages, but I know that there's a few purple treasure pods in here that I particularly know of. Um, so we need to, as usual, head towards the tree. I know there's one in the glass desert as well. It's rough to get to, though. Okay, let's pop over here. And it's the usual jumping on here. Jumping on here. Using my... Oh, oh. 
that always scares me, that one. Using my jetpack to try and get up here. Ugh. Did it. And around here, I believe, there's a purple treasure pod. Let's see what we get in that. Oh, just some bits of indigonium and a strange diamond. Oh, I can cope with a strange diamond. However, there is also one. If I fly... Should be able to do this without going over the water as well, which is quite good. Over here. I remember there was one there that I was always like, I can't open it, it's so annoying. And I have got a crystal sconce. The light from these sconces appears to be endless, perhaps illum illuminating the past as much as the present. Oh, those would be lovely to make. Oh, those would be really nice. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go home. There might be others that I don't know about. Oh, hang on. I think there might have been one, if I remember rightly. By the glass desert entryway. Down around the corner down here. I think it might be a bit of a jump to get to it. Um, I think I have to jump on these and I go around the corner. I remember looking around here when I was trying to find the uh, the Gordo, the Warp Gordo. I looked around here and I was like, oh no, it's just a purple treasure pod. There we are. So that's three. And it should tell me that I better not just be honey in that. Really? Royal jelly and honey. Okay. I know royal jelly is a useful thing to get, but still. Mm, I'll just chuck out my mint mangoes so I can pick that up. I don't want to come around here again. It's a pain in the bum. It's wild honey. Get those out of my extractors every two minutes. Honestly. I gotta be careful getting back. Oh, I can just drop down there, I think. My jetpack. Oh, in fact, I can just get right back up there. That's cool. I'll cope with that. I don't know if there are any others in the ruins. However, my map might be able to tell me. No, actually it won't because I haven't found the map thing. Does that show where the map thing is? Is that a little circle where the map thing is? Possibly not. So I have no idea where the moss blankets uh, one is either. But a map of this place would be amazing. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to see what that is. So I would love to have a map of this place. Bear with me just a minute. I'm going to go and do that and that will be probably the last thing I do. She says getting all caught up in this stuff. Can I get up on the ledge? No. Darn it. I'm going to actually open the door for once. Can't be bothered going over the top. Okay, so we have lots of goodies, which is cool. But I want to see if I can find the place where I can get the map. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. It's easy in here. The moss blanket one's damn hard. I don't know where it is. Was it where it said on... No, it wasn't at all where I thought it was. But this is a map. Oh, map of the ancient ruins. So good. And I have got 8 out of 14 treasure pods in here. So we're going to have to look for more. Definitely at some point. Where is the one in the moss blanket? 
is the question, because I have not seen it yet. And that would pretty much complete it. Oh, I need the glass desert one as well. Glass desert isn't as bad, though. I, I don't think, anyway. But anyway, I think that's it for today. Uh, we have cleared out a vault of all its stuff. We have come to the ancient ruins and uh, just picked up a couple of the purple treasure pods that I remembered where they were. But I think there's still a few that I need to find in around here. So I don't know whether I should stay here and get more and try and find all of them or or what but maybe we'll do that next episode maybe we'll find the rest of the treasure pods in this area in the next episode um try and see what we can find if i just scour everywhere i should be able to find them all i think especially with the map especially now we have the map so we'll go through each area we'll try and find out for example how many all right so if i go to each location and we can find all the treasure pods we'll go to each of the ancient ruins we'll find all of those um, and then eventually I'm going to just grind up a ton of money for you guys off camera and then we'll finish off the 7Z Club. When we've done all that, as I say, I think that's going to be the end of uh, my slime planch, sl slime matcher playthrough. Can't talk. Um, and once I've done that, I'm just going to probably go in and have a little look every time they release a little update. So I'll do a little episode of it every so often, but I'll take it off my main playlist. But that is it for me. I hope you liked the episode. If you did, then please do subscribe, like, comment, etc, etc. And I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.